five images of the same pair of galaxies, making the distinctive shape of a cosmic question mark. That's what we found at the center of this beautiful, deep field image of a cluster of galaxies. A cluster of galaxies that is so massive, it's bending the light from more distant background galaxies is responsible for this cosmological conundrum. And I think it is absolutely stunning. When the Hubble Space Telescope peered into this same region of space, it did not have the power to see this rare configuration. Hubble's smaller mirror and visible light detectors struggled to collect enough light, some of which was blocked by dust between the galaxies and the telescope, and it could not reveal this question mark shaped alignment. JWST, on the other hand, has a much larger mirror to collect more light and is sensitive to infrared light, which is much better at traveling through dusty regions unaffected and can reach our telescope much easier. The new JWST image shows many, many objects that just aren't visible in Hubble's image, and many of the galaxies that are in both are much, much brighter in the JWST image. As we zoom out from the question mark, Take a moment to enjoy the incredible zoo of galaxies that we can see throughout this image. There are so many to try and take in, and they come in a huge variety of shapes and colours, from deep reds of distant, colder galaxies, all the way through to bright blue galaxies that are hot with new stars. I'm showing some of my favourites on screen now, but there are so many to choose from that I can't show them all individually. If you have a favourite or find something interesting that I don't show here, please leave me a comment down below to tell us all about what you find. The gravitational lens itself is a huge cluster of galaxies, catchily named Max J0417.5-1154. And this image shows it in all of its glory. The cluster is massive enough to warp space-time, causing light that travels through it to be bent and distorted. This is similar to how light passing through thick glass, like the stem of a wine glass, can also be warped and distorted. It's the same idea here, except it's the universe itself that's doing the bending of light. The result is many galaxies that are more distant than the cluster at the centre of the image have their shapes stretched and distorted, and their light magnified and brightened. Sometimes we even end up seeing the same galaxy multiple times in the image. That's exactly what happened here to give us the question mark shape. The body of the question mark is built almost entirely out of images of the same pair of interacting galaxies. JWST has revealed a red galaxy that's interacting with a spiral galaxy, and we can see five separate images of the pair, thanks to this gravitational lensing. Hubble could see the spiral galaxy, but its red counterpart is a new discovery from JWST. Four of the five images of the pair make up the question mark's body, while a fifth image is clearly visible off to the side. A couple of the images, labelled C and D, are more distorted than the others, but A, B and E make it clear that we're looking at exactly the same galaxies in each case. The dot of the question mark is actually an unrelated galaxy in most ways, but it just happens to be in the right position from our perspective on Earth to complete this punctuation parade. We can also see a whole host of long, thin objects too. These are also galaxies that are being severely distorted by the gravitational lensing. In reality, they will be elliptical or spiral shaped, but we can only see them here as smeared out, long, thin shapes, again due to the galaxy cluster warping what we can see through space. There are only four or five known cases where galaxies happen to look like a question mark from our point of view. Now, that's not loads, but it might be surprising that it has happened more than once. One of them is actually visible in another JWST image we've talked about before. It's found to the bottom right of this image of a beautiful object called HH46-47 that is actually a couple of stars with powerful jets associated with them. But that question mark doesn't seem to be due to lensing, but it's likely due to an irregular galaxy that's been disrupted by a merger or interaction and been left as a funny shape. I do have a full video that explains everything we can see in that image, so do feel free to check that one out if you're interested. Back to our new question mark. With Webb's infrared eyes, we can even see areas within our lensed galaxies that are showing areas of active star formation. These are regions that are dense with gas, likely as a result of the gravitational impact of the two galaxies merging or interacting. 
That said, neither of the galaxies have shapes that are particularly disrupted, so it's probable that we're seeing this pair near the beginning of their galactic dance, early on in their interaction. By breaking down the light received from the pair, we can also confirm that they are the same distance away from us, pretty much confirming that they really are interacting, and they're not just next to each other on the sky from our perspective. All in all, this is a beautiful image full of stunning objects, and it just happens to have a curious cosmic question mark at its centre. Thanks a lot for watching, please feel free to leave me any questions or comments you have down below, and why not subscribe if you're new to the channel. Until next time, stay safe team, I'll see you soon, bye!